Hello! Okay, today I am playing uh, Randalux, who has a bunch of Pokemon that lose to Rotom, but also has a couple Pokemon that stop Rotom. So this will be kind of interesting based on that. Um, Gyarados, Charizard, Mamoswine, all really big threats, all lose to Rotom. But also, at the same time, Togedemaru, Lightning Rod, really annoying in protecting those three. Gyarados can Power Whip and Oko it. The, uh, has a Roserade that can Oko it, that I wouldn't be surprised if it was Scarfed or some such. Has a Eevee, a Noctowl, and a Mr. Mime Galar that I'm not super worried about. I think that the threats are the Mamoswine, Roserade, Togedemaru, Gyarados, Charizard. I could see Mime Galar coming. I don't know what Eevee does. I don't. I think it gets punched by my champ. I love bad Pokemon. I have a Glaceon. It's better than the garbage from last week. Um, okay. I'm setting Trick Room. Basically. Um, Dragapult Togetic player sets Trick Room is here to throw everyone off, hopefully. Uh, it is Citrus Berry. It sets up Trick Room next to Togekiss, has, uh, Basically defensive, Togekiss is standard redirection, follow me. And then Machamp and Glaceon are the killers in the Trick Room setup. Um, I still have Dragapult Togetic lead with a potential Rotom. I forgot Cottony. Um, when I was talking, I was not talking Cottony. Cottony is terrifying. Worth mentioning. Uh, it's the reason this doesn't work, because Mamoswine will eat me alive if I just lead... Dragapult Togetic into Cottony Mamoswine, I will get eaten alive. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. And it'll be fun. Alright, let's see what's brought. Good luck, have fun. As with every game. May nobody miss any rock slides. But Focus Blast always connect for everyone. Unless it's against me. No Gyarados, understandable considering how many electric Pokemon I have, and how I'm not super intimidation weak. Very understandable. Mr. Mime Galar is the random threat here. Um, Mime Galar is a threat, I believe. I'm gonna stick with my original plan. And see how it pays out. Um, has the Lightning Rod. Man, Rotom still looks great in the Charizard and Mammoth Swine. But those also both get punked. I'm slowly relying on my Machamp more and more. I've only played. This is only the second match, and I was relying on the Machamp in the first one, so. We'll see. Charizard Toga to Mars. Out isn't a thing because of Psychic Terrain. Okay, no maxes, so I'm comfortable with this play now. No nuzzle will come out, no anything. 
Heat Wave from Charizard. And Nuzzle. Okay. Just a little scouting turn. We're gonna bring him a champ first. I believe. The question is, am I comfortable enough to just swap into it? I think the answer is yes. I'm just going to try to get it in safely. A big hit into Ndidi with the paralysis on it, it would be annoying. I believe I have rocks on my champ for sure. And guts will activate. Okay, no paralysis. Always love to see that. Another heat wave? Another heat wave. Sizable damage. Got the burn. Doesn't matter. I'm Flame Orb. Now we play the fun game of do you have a rock switch in? The answer is Rosary. Which, if we're gonna get any fancy turns to Solid Trick Room, it's gonna be now. We've got uh, only a few turns to work with. I'd probably lose if the Trick Room fails. Considering who I have in the back. There's actually a sizable chance that Chain can't just break through this. hand is not going to go off unless it is focused on. Hopefully start collecting KOs. See if I can find a Roserade in the back or what is in the back of this scenario. No Intimidate is nice to see. The token of Maru seems like Fake Out Nuzzle Helping Hand Pure Support. This could be really annoying. I could just go for the KO on the champ, which would also be pretty annoying. I might actually lose all offensive threat if that's what happens. Yon goes off. Love to see it.
Considering double protecting and setting triple. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm kind of going to munch my last... Uh... and I have guts. Do I need to be scared? Is this hit just worth more? This hit might just be worth more. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Because if you hit the champ that I'm bringing in Glaceon, I'm getting tricked him up anyway. I think. I don't believe this KO is Rosary, so... Yeah, not with Reflect Up. If I hit Max Guard there, I would actually be in a very good spot. I think Max Guard was the play. Oh, that protected the on. I should have max guarded. It wouldn't have protected the young man with a guaranteed trick right here. This was a misplay. That was my original plan. one I lose, I think. Yeah, you got me. I should have max guarded. I would have I think I would have won if I max guarded. It was the play I said I wanted to do to begin with, and I just did it. I should have max guarded. I called it. 
I would have had a free secondary trick room up. And I would have had a uh, Machamp be perfectly alive into the second trick room. That's my fault. Uh, gladly take the card. Uh, what do I want to do? Just cut the trick room stuff or have more faith? I don't really have faith. The slow play was good. Okay. This is what my gut is telling me to do. I want to make her scared to bring Cotney in the lead. This is kind of expecting Cotney. Terrain to stop sleep from yawn was good. All right, good luck. Have fun around two. Where's our economy? Okay, so the plus side to this is you should be scared. I would think you would be scared to set up Tailwind with my Indeedy on the field. Volt Switch would be insane if it works. Is a fast Rotom. And if it's Solar Beam, then I'm okay with it. I think if it's Sunny Day and Solar Beam into Rotom, it'll kill Rotom. But I'll get Trick Room up, and then I'll have the champion. Yeah, we are maxing this time. There might be max up here. Okay, it is Wildfire and not Solar Power. That's awesome. I'm going to bullet punch you, but that's awesome. I'm actually going to swap in Togetic 
mostly because I am scared of Encore. I don't want to get Encore into Turtle. Wait, was it AD? Did it swap an AD? I didn't read the second one. But I just got confused, you know? And it was! It was AD! Wait, this is awesome! This is actually hilarious. So I didn't have to be scared of Encore. Also, it has no attacking moves. So I will ignore this Cotney for the rest of the match, as it struggles. And it's hilarious. Also, it's hilarious that the... First off, Charizard is... Is it slower without Iron Ball? me and the things. I don't think I have to do anything fancy. Plus one with Reflect did not KO with Dynamax. I think this KO is what I'm thinking. It's gonna be close. I think it would have worked so well if Charizard started to underspeed me. Okay, it does look good. Togetic is getting a kill here. Wait, Togetic's getting a kill, I believe. Alright, Togetic, you can do this. Dazzle it. Dazzle it! I should probably follow me and put all my kills on my champ because that would be the smarter kill leaderboard thing to do. Because my champ is in my lead of my team by a lot. This is not a minimum speed my champ. I want that known. The reason I bullet punched was since it's not minimum speed and I don't know the speed stat on that Charizard, there's a very good chance it was slower than me.
Now the real question is what I'm doing now. I feel like there's a lot of leads that don't go my way and there's a lot of leads that do. Uh, Mr. Mime's item. I didn't see a lot of items. Or if I did, I wasn't paying enough attention. Do I just Togetic Dragapult? Yeah, this has the potential to just not work, which is why I'm hesitant to do it, but I'm stunning. Good luck in best of three. Charizard Rosary. going to max fly into Roserade and bring in Rotom. I think that's the play. sense to just not hit the Charizard? Maybe I'm throwing away Dragapult if she attacks into it? But Rotom looks insane into this team if this Roserade is gone. is the threat. This was a very aggressive play. I will admit. I'm basically saying Charizard can't kill anything. And I'm going to have speed control next time. That is what I'm saying with this play. Okay. It won't KO anything, and I'm going to have speed control next turn. That is what I am going with. I'm going to Airstream Charizard, and I'm going to Volt Switch Charizard. That's not Volt Switch. Togedemaru is the biggest brain play I've ever seen, and I would love to see it, because that might cause issues. Roserade could probably... Well, I'm not sure what Roserade's going to do. But the double up in the Charizard is... This is heavily threatening Charizard here. It was AV, so I know it's not going to have a max card. Or, like, max card. If this is Toga tomorrow, well played. Mr. Mime, okay. I think this is a KO on Charizard. And I have made mistakes if it's not. Okay, 
Okay, good. Did that matter? I'm gonna feel really bad if that mattered. That might have mattered. Mammoth one. So I'm going to Steel Spike into Mr. Mime. And I'm going to protect. I have Machamp in the back. Machamp beats Mammoth one. This is the logic behind this. By protecting Togetic, I'm keeping it alive. And I do not believe Mr. Mime can survive a Steel Spike. Go for damage. Dragon darts follow me a few times, and I'll be okay. I got a really solid start in this one. Plus one defense toga tick is nothing to laugh at. Take the slow death. I have bullet punch on the champ. And I have a mammoth. I have a. I don't even think I have to miss Hydro Pump. I think Rotom walls this. Alright, and there we go. GG well played, Randallux. If that crit on AV Charizard mattered, I'm sorry. The, um,. Iron Ball and Charizard was actually insane in game two. I think you might have been slower than Machamp, and I'm very happy I had Bullet Punch and you changed the terrain off Psychic. Because I think you could have won off of that Iron Ball play very easily. GG.